Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna try to use Just For Men to do my eyebrows. So I've had my eyebrows microbladed, but I still have hair that is really kind of, not lighter, but I've noticed it's changed as I've aged and it's lightened up a little bit. So anyways, I'm going to try this color, the mustache and beard Just For Men with the medium dark brown. I actually read directions, which that's unusual for me because I'm one that just likes to jump in. It's just who I am. Ooh. Okay, so I just pulled off the lid to the tube and we're already starting with a hot mess. It did not say that in the directions. However, it did say place a line along the edge. We've done that says to wipe off the cap and replace it. Hot mess. Okay, let's hope the color base doesn't explode quite like the other did. Okay, color base so far so good. And we're supposed to put an equal line along the color base. So we've done that. And now we're supposed to mix it. And I have a feeling I mixed way too much since that kind of exploded, but this is my first time, period. So we'll see how this goes. Now it does give you this little brush. I'm considering using that brush. It tells you to move your hair kind of around with the brush. Mm hmm. So I pulled off the excess here and we're gonna apply it with this little brush. It says to apply to dry hair. Ooh, so I'm gonna wiggle this around. <laughs> oh goodness. I'm not sure if I'm applying way too much, not enough, but I am wiggling it through the hairs. So allegedly you're supposed to wait five minutes and then rinse it off. The longer you keep it on past the five minutes, the darker it could be. Interesting. So I'm gonna kind of wipe away the excess and I will do that with a tissue. All right, so I'm gonna be back in about five minutes. Doesn't that look beautiful? I, thank God I don't have a unibrow, right? Cause that would be way over the top right now. Holy crud. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I'll be back. Okay, so I might have gotten a little bit sidetracked. Um, it's probably been closer to maybe the eight minute mark and I am looking like a complete sex pot right now. Don't you think? Maybe I should have tried this look for our anniversary weekend. I think Rob would have really liked it. <laughs> okay, so seriously y'all, I am just hoping that it doesn't stain my face, but you know, whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen at this point, and that's what I get for not paying attention. So I am going to use the Redken Color Extend Shampoo. It says to use shampoo and not, um, not like bar soap. So um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna first try to wipe some of this off. <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's, let us pray. Let us take a moment and pray, shall we? Because this isn't really wiping off. Um, that's all that came off and this is still what stays. Y'all let, let's have a moment of silence. Let's have a moment of silence. Okay, it surely is not gonna be bad. Other people on YouTube haven't had worse trouble with masks not um, coming off or ripping off all of their facial hair. So this really can't be bad, right? And holy crud, I've got an important meeting tomorrow. So 
why I'm doing this before an important meeting tomorrow? Beyond me. Okay, so we're rubbing this in nice. And we're gonna rinse this. Okay, so that's not as bad as I had anticipated. Sorry. That's not as bad as I anticipated. I do have some staining, so I'm gonna go and get, and it didn't tell me what to do if it stains my face. I am going to go and get some, maybe some alcohol. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I'm not gonna tell you what I used on my face because I would not recommend that to anyone to make sure that I could get off the excess color and that is because I did not have rubbing alcohol like I thought. So, what have I learned from this little experiment? What I would say is I did try to touch up my face a little bit, but, and this makes total sense, but you don't really think about this before you get in and do it. Um, I've got a lot of little blonde hairs that I didn't know I had. And so now I'm gonna need to go back and pluck the around where my eyebrows are because all those little invisible hairs that I really couldn't see I now can see because they're colored so my next bit is to go ahead and clean up by plucking my eyebrows etc so I do like the fact that the the just for men worked it my eyebrows are darker so that's nice um and for me i used again the medium dark brown i left it on for roughly eight minutes i i guess the other piece is if i go to do this again is i plan on maybe trying to carve out with some facial oil that might be able to help but just being careful not to get it in the hair so that you don't, because um, if you get oil on the hair, it's not gonna stick. But I was reading or watching other YouTubers that say they only do this every so often. So kind of like when you, if you color your hair, you color your hair every four to six weeks. So it's gonna be really interesting to see if this color stays brown four to six weeks. Um, so I may have an update the next time I do this of more lessons learned. This was really interesting, that's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed me trying this before you did so that you could learn from me and not have actually performed this on yourself to make a mistake. Leave it to me to try anything. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time.